Welcome to In Conversation with King's Legal Clinic. So, Pierre Jean, given your experience in various organizations, what motivates you to get involved with youth activism and engagement surrounding climate change? Hi, Amanda. So, I'd say that the main reason is that um, through for a first-hand political implication, I witnessed that there was a lack of inclusion of young people in some of the decision processes and decision making at the national level mainly, but also in the in the international institution, there was sometimes a deficient inclusion of youth, uh, of youth at large and young people. And so the main reason why I got involved was to try and change that at the levels that I'm involved in. And through uh, through my work at an NGO called Generation Maastricht, we basically are aiming to do that within the European institutions, and in a larger in a larger scale, we are also active on working on sustainability issues with um, with United Nations components uh, to try and institutionalize youth participation in some of the more technical side of committees that exist, for example, in the, at the UN in Geneva or in Nairobi, Kenya. How do you think plastics is a unique issue? Mm -hmm. So uh, since I'm a second year geography student, uh, and basically since I'm doing liberal arts, I major in geography and minor in politics. So that gives me uh, a lot of interest regarding uh, regarding the use of plastics, for example. And um, I I have non-profit experience on that regard as well, because the NGO that I mentioned earlier is involved in the Mediterranean Action Plan um, uh, coordinated scheme. Basically, it's called Metpol, and we we are basically promoting a lot of initiatives that have um, that have an impact on trying to reduce plastic consumptions and plastic waste as well. And I think that the uniqueness of the issue resides in the fact that this is growing and growing and this is becoming more and more important. Whenever we, whenever we think about it, there was, I remember a few years ago when I was in a geographic class in high school, we talked about basically a new a new continent that was made of plastic that was basically just that notion of like plastic continent and that was something that truly really shocked me and then I, I i wouldn't know if it was one of the catalysts for engagement but this is something that rather sticks with you and you you still keep in mind whenever you do something related to plastics for example so that's i think that the uniqueness of that is just that it's something that impacts everyone whether they want it or not so we, I think that it's quite important that we get active in that regard through either uh, research, uh, grassroots activism, or any means that we judge unnecessary and efficient. As young people, climate change, I think, can seem like quite a big problem. And sometimes we question the significance of our actions. So what has been your approach to that? Um, on that regard, I would say that there, there definitely is an importance onto individual actions. Individual actions are encouraged by the UN through the SDGs. They are encouraged by specific UN programs that are developed and targeted specifically at people doing individual actions in any of their field of competence. And the thing is that even if it is important and in the end it does have an impact it's uh, it's uh, also in our knowledge that the main polluters are going to be private companies and i think that the approach that i have um, on a daily basis is on accountability especially by companies um, so for example regarding plastics very specifically uh, currently i am working on the there is a working group for the United Nations Environmental Assembly that has been that has taken place and that is currently taking place actually on the establishment of um, 
um, an international treaty on basically plastic litter. And we aim to really use plastic as a sort of um, a way to just let know companies that there is no time for impunity and that rather it's um, it's rather a time for yeah for, for change should be needed and it's usually quite needed so i think that my approach at large is do not forget the individual actions are really important and really cool but also do not forget that the companies are the ones that have a massive impact and by whichever way you choose to act shall that be through protesting shall that be through uh through getting involved in an institution in a think tank or in any way so it's i it might seem sometimes that your your actions are not necessarily concrete and might not have an, a direct rapid impact but only in the end it does because it does create a uh, if i may say a climate of just an, an ambitious for just for change and we saw that at the cop 26 in glasgow I think that the fact that the um, the the head of te- the head of states coming, that was basically an impact that was quite equal from all the protesters gathered around in Glasgow, and they they had a similar um, a similar power on things and influenced the negotiations because they basically said that youth is concerned. But youth still has hopes on the processes and will definitely be a part of it. So, yeah.